Good evening from Xfinity Center. For the first time in the 2019-2020 season, this is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Bruce Posner. Maryland takes it over Fayetteville State, 76-43. Bruce, what surprised you the most for today's I game? i tell you what impressed me the most today. You know what it was? At the end of the game, I saw this giant walk off the bench or walk off the court. Yeah. Joel Mariel. Yes. And I hadn't seen him before. Mm -hmm. He's tall, man. <laughs> yes. He's really big. Well, All right. He's tall. I don't know how big he is, but he's a well, tall he's tall. Dude. He's a tall dude. Yeah. Listen, this is what impressed me tonight. Uh, Eric Ayala was great. I thought Cowan had a good game. I love Dante Scott. I didn't realize that he was that lengthy. He was that quick. He's a baller. He's a Philadelphia tough kid. He, he is a big guy. Right. He is like defensive end kind of big guy. And <clears throat> Maque Mitchell, he's the real deal. I will be shocked somehow if he doesn't find his way into 20, 25 minutes a game. He's a, he's a dude. Let me tell you something. He's a big guy. Maryland looked great. Yeah, you can't judge these games. 76-43 means nothing. But I thought their flow was good. They all ran good. Everybody looked for other people. Uh, the depth is there. We see it. They're 9, 10 deep. Turge is going to use them all if I had to guess. And what was your big impression? I, I like what you said. My impression is how well the ball moved and how fast Maryland looked when the starters were in the game. They, there's an intensity level. We were talking about it up and down. All of a sudden, you say, hey, they cranked up the defense. They went to a press. Maryland's pressing. It's good to see. Yeah, they had that 1-2-2 two, two, two zone press. Worked a couple times. The Cowan, I don't have, we don't have a stat sheet tonight. Uh, well, actually, we do. We do have a stat sheet. Yeah, bring that over. You can get in the picture. It's all right. There we go. All stat right. sheet for How many Maryland. steals did Cowan have? I noticed that. Steals? Oh, it looks two. like he's got, he's got two. Ricky right. Lindo had three. Right. Uh, a morsel. It was okay game. Go, let's go down the list. Wiggins, maybe his shot, his three-point shot went there tonight. Three of eight, nine points. Not bad. Ayella, I thought Ayella had a great game. He did. Five for ten. Uh, Jalen Smith, he just dominated. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They really looked for him, the other team, Fayetteville. And they had this 45, I don't know his name. It's about 7-2. Yeah, he was 7-2. He, he frustrated him a little bit. Tomaik barely played. Cowan had the 16 points. Right. I like the first night there, 5 for 6 from the field. He didn't start, though, and uh, I'm not sure there's any controversy there. He usually is a starter. Uh, Dante Scott, 10 points, 4 of 6 from the floor, 2 of 4 beyond the arc. Three defensive rebounds, couple assists. He played a complete game, especially for a guy in his first time out. Yeah, no doubt. Eight rebounds for Makai Mitchell. And his brother played pretty good. Could finish a couple baskets. He was all over the place. Yeah, Mikhail. Uh, th they were good. You win 76 to 43, you're good. We get a real game on Tuesday. It's Holy Cross. And then next Saturday, the 9th. Well, we get Rhode Island here. At the Why don't they play at midnight? I mean, if they're playing at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. Uh, I don't know. The only they should have a dance party till at like 9 o'clock. If you danced, we'd come. Right. And on that note, with the camera being over this way, this is the Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back in College Park in a moment. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackridge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information and find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. Back here in College Park, I'm Wayne Viner. This is Bruce Posner. Maryland 
has a couple early games that look really easy. A couple are somewhere in the middle. It caps off with Seton Hall later into December. What do you look for the team to need to do for the first five or six of these early season games? Look, the first five or six games, I think you got George Mason in there. You got Holy Cross. You don't have, it's not a giant schedule. No. So you need to get your flow. They're all at home. All right, you need to win and win easy. Then they hit a little bit of a gauntlet with Temple and maybe Texas A&M right. or Harvard. No, those aren't the hardest games in the world. But from a team like this that has an established core and you're trying to work in these freshmen, how many minutes would you devote to trying to make this squad Big Ten ready versus trying to be the number seven team in the country? Well, we know Turge, and he's going to win first. But I think he'll, he'll incorporate everybody in the lineup who he feels is going to be significant. A couple of guys are going to have to really fight to get minutes. I talked to you about it. Right. And it's too early to say who I think they are because it doesn't matter. But it, if you watch this game, it was pretty obvious. But uh, it's a long way to go. These games, we'll see how it works out. But I think that certainly Dante Scott and Makai Mitchell and maybe his baby brother showed there's some minutes there. All right. There are. Yeah, they, he so, definitely can play. If Chol Marial gets his act together physically, he might take those minutes. Um, if Chol Marial gets himself together physically and he can play, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say it right now. All right, there's no limit to how good this team can be, and I think that there's no limit without him. But with him, this is another ball game. Yes. But this team is great without him. In, in closing. There were minutes there during that game when you went, yeah, this team is for and this real. Is also, this is not a team we've seen before. The way everybody was running, the way everybody was like passing, stuffing, everybody was involved in the game. I thought it was a great little exhibition, but unfortunately that's all it was. All right. Uh, for those still plug in the football, we'll see you from the field after the Michigan-Maryland game on Saturday, which is tomorrow, and then we'll be back here on Tuesday night. And tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. If, if this gets up in time, catch the Sports Maven on 1300 CBS Sports Radio, as well followed as by In the Nest, in the sponsored nest. by Science and Kirk, previewing the game of the week. It's the Patriots visiting the Ravens. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun out there. Yeah, for sure. And hats off to the Nationals. Got to give them hats off. World champions. Why they're having a parade at 2 o'clock, I'm figured out. But okay, We'll tomorrow. look into that. But we have right. to go in and catch the press conference. We'll see you after Michigan, Maryland tomorrow. All right. Good evening.